Fixed law is one of the most important and interesting topics in mass transfer. Today, we're gonna define fixed first and second laws and introduce their analogy with heat transfer. Stay in this short lecture. Adolf Fick was a physicist who derived two important equations of mass diffusion in 1855. They uh, so-called fixed first and second law or fixed laws of diffusion. Okay, at first we're gonna explain the first fixed law. You know, imagine we have a piece of metal or plastic or whatever. Material doesn't matter because we wanna only define it, you know. All right then there are already some particles on this side of the material and also there are too many of the same particles on the other side of the material okay can you imagine yeah and between them there is a same barrier okay it means there is concentration difference between two sides this side the concentration of the how this particle is high and on the other side is low now what is gonna happen so logically the mass transfer is gonna happen due to concentration difference yeah you know it means the particles from the higher concentration are gonna diffuse at first diffuse and move to the lower concentration you know now, Fick's first law says that the flux of this mass diffusion is directly, directly correlated with the concentration gradient. Concentration gradient means the derivative of the concentration with respect to the position, you know. It means if you have a large concentration gradient, you will face a large diffusion flux as well. So, if you want to convert this proportion to an equation, we have to put a factor here, which is the so-called diffusion coefficient or diffusivity. Then, we have to put a minus sign as well, you know, because the flux direction is always from higher concentration to the lower concentration, okay? Now, this equation is the fixed first equation in one direction, okay? Now, you know, we could state the fixed law mole basis or mass basis. For example, if we write it mole basis, then here the J is the diffusion flux in mole per square meter second. Then D is diffusion coefficient, as I told, in square meter per second. The phi is the concentration in mole per cubic meter. And the X is the position in meter. Take a look here once more at the dimensions of the equations in both mole and mass basis and how the left and right hand side cancel each other out, okay? Okay, the above equation as I told, is for only one directional mass diffusion. If you want to generalize the above equation and write down the general form of the fixed first law, then we have to generalize the gradient. That's it. So it's like this. J equals the minus D times the gradient of the concentration that's it everything is the same as this equation except the gradient okay now this is the general form of fixed 
first law. All right. This gradient is in general form and it's not in one direction. Okay. Now you can write down this gradient in different coordinate systems like Cartesian coordinate system or cylindrical or spherical. And yeah. Okay. Gradient operator in the Cartesian coordinate system will be like this. You know, the gradient is a mathematical operator and could be applied on any functions. I mean, it's independent of the material or physics and stuff like that, you know, and it's something totally mathematical, but it could be applied on physical functions as well, like here in mass diffusion. Okay, the grad of the function f equals the partial derivative of the f with respect to the x then partial derivative of the f with respect to the y and partial derivative of the f with respect to the z that's it now let's talk about the fixed second law fixed second law says that the first derivative of the mass concentration with respect to the time, okay, equals the diffusivity times the second derivative of the mass concentration mm -hmm, with respect to the position. It means if you solve this partial differential equation, finally you would find the mass concentration distribution with respect to the time and position. Okay, this is the fixed second law, but in one direction. So if it generalize it, it will be like this. The first uh, derivative of the concentration with respect to the time equals d which is diffusivity times the Laplacian of the phi okay this is actually this fixed second law in general for you know okay here this this is called laplacian or laplace operator it is actually a mathematical operator which takes the second derivative of a function with respect to the position for example the laplacian of function f in cartesian coordinate system will be like this uh, the second derivative of the f with respect to the x plus second derivative of the f with respect to the y plus the second derivative of the f with respect to the z yeah that's equals the laplacian of f mm -hmm. so if we come back to this equation, I mean the fixed uh, second law equation, and if we want to have only the steady state, then we need to make this term zero. It means in a steady state, the mass concentration doesn't change with respect to the time. Okay, let me write it down. Zero equals diffusivity times Laplacian of the mass concentration. That's it. Now let's talk about the analogy. You know, there is rather a vast analogy between mass transfer and heat transfer. However, today we want to talk about that aspect of this analogy, which is related to fixed law. Okay, let me write down the first and second law fast. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is the first fixed law and this is the second fixed law. Okay. Now let's list the engaged parameters in these two equations here. So it has a corresponding parameter in heat transfer, you know. So we have here J, which is mass flux, phi then, which is the mass concentration, T is time, X is position, and there is the mass diffusivity, okay? So what is the corresponding parameter of mass flux in heat transfer? It should be logically what? Heat flux, you know? Mass flux in mass transfer is like heat flux in heat transfer, yeah? So let's go on. Phi, which is mass concentration in mass transfer, is like what? Is like? Like temperature in heat transfer you know time in mass transfer is exactly like time in heat transfer also position in uh, is position in both mass and heat transfer and finally the which is mass diffusivity in mass transfer is like thermal conductivity in heat transfer however you know however the dimension of the mass diffusivity is equal to the dimension of the thermal diffusivity not thermal conductivity thermal diffusivity please keep this in mind we'll come back again now if you substitute the parameters related to the heat transfer for the corresponding parameters in mass transfer equations then we will reach the corresponding equations in heat transfer did you get it so here we go at first, fix first equation. Q dot instead of J, okay. T instead of phi. Yeah. And finally, K or alpha. Which one should we substitute? You know, the dimensions of the left and right hand sides should be equal, right? Alpha, which is thermal diffusivity can't do it so k which is a uh, thermal conductivity is the right one now what is this equation this is Fourier's law in heat transfer as the conclusion fix first law in the mass transfer is equivalent with Fourier's law in heat transfer now let's do the same thing for the fixed second law, okay? Instead of phi, we have to put T, okay? And instead of T, we have to put T itself already is here. Then here, instead of D, we should put alpha, which is thermal diffusivity and not the thermal conductivity, okay? So we read the desired equation. This equation called heat equation. Hence, the fixed second law in mass diffusion is equivalent with heat equation in heat transfer. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you saw the fixed equations and the corresponding equations in heat transfer. Now here I have two questions for you. First, why do the fix first law and also Fourier's law have a minus behind the right hand sides? But the fix second law and heat equation don't. Why then? The answer is because in the fix first equation as well as in the Fourier's law, there is flux parameter. And this minus implies that the direction of the flux, whether mass flux or heat flux, is always from higher potential to the lower one. Yeah. 
And the second question is that, you know, mostly they put a subscript for the mass diffusivity like AB or BA or whatever. Uh, but for thermal cases, they don't. Why? You know, uh, in mass diffusivity, for example, material A diffuses inside material B or vice versa. It means two materials are playing roles. However, in thermal diffusivity, the thermal energy or let's say heat penetrates or diffuses inside a material, you know. Hence, mass diffusivity is actually the interaction of two materials. But the heat diffusion is the interaction of the heat with the material. Now, if we come back to the question, they write down, for example, DAB or DBA or something like this. And this might be quite different than DBA. For example, the mass diffusivity, if the water diffuses inside air, is much, much larger than the mass diffusivity of the case that air diffuses inside water did you get the idea that's why the mass diffusivity could be called the binary diffusion coefficient as well all right if you come to a summary i'd say Fick's law of diffusion describes mass diffusion and was proposed by adolf Fick in 1855 Fick's law has been expressed by two famous equations namely Fick's first and second law Fick's first law correlates the diffusion flux with the first derivative of the mass concentration with respect to the position and aims to find the diffusion flux. Fick's second law correlates the first derivative of mass concentration with respect to the time with the second derivative of the mass concentration with respect to the position and aims to find the mass concentration distribution with respect to the time and position. As the analogy between mass transfer and heat transfer, the corresponding equation of Fick's first law is the Fourier's law in heat transfer, and the corresponding equation of Fick's second law is heat equation in heat transfer. Yeah. Please subscribe for more mechanical lectures, stay tuned, motivated and with me as well.